just in that same breath of creating a pivot table if, say, for example, I want to create a pivot chart. Once I've built out a simple basic one, uh, uh, my rows are my day, my uh, transaction date, and my sum of amount, what I can do is you'll notice in the Analyze tab, I have this pivot chart option. Guess what happens when we click on it? We actually get a few different, uh, the same effects that we would see with a normal chart. This is, in fact, pretty much still a normal chart. And when I hit OK, the difference is going to be that you get to see now the drop down interactive menu options. I'm going to zoom in a little bit for us. That allow me to now say, give me, instead of just Sunday to Saturday, as we can see, we can see that all my sales are on a Saturday. If instead, I only want to look at Sunday, it'll zoom in on my Sunday. If I want to remove that, I can bring it back, and it'll zoom back in. And if I want to look at my transaction dates, say I want to look at, uh, you know, gen uh, the New Year's Day. Zoom back in, I can see that same effect going on over and over again. So now let's say, for example, I want to expand on this idea. I'm going to bring segment out and I'm going to put it in as a column. Now that I've got it as a column, let's click on pivot chart again. Suddenly you're going to see that I've got some craziness going on, but as soon as I hit OK, you see that not only do I get my day and my transaction date, but I can also do my segments as well. So suddenly, maybe I want to look at all of my Saturday coffee sales. And I can burrow, uh, bear, uh, what is the term? I can burrow deeper and deeper, or I can look a little further and further based on now my filters.